Lot Lee, now on Bounce, we want to help you reduce the risk of becoming a victim of identity theft. We called in someone who knows the burden victims are going through. Glenn Wright is the CEO of Worth Financial Advisors. Thanks for coming on our show. It's my pleasure. All Thanks right. for having me, Delano. What are the most common forms of identity theft? Well, first of all, identity theft is uh, the largest crime in America, and the fastest growing crime in America right now. Right. It's going to happen really in two forms. One is either they're going to take your credit information and use it, that's your current credit information, or they're going to take your identity and take that information to make and open up new accounts and credit cards. Okay, now as a financial advisor, have you seen uh, your clients impacted by identity theft? Because I've heard some nightmares. Yeah, well, there, there have been. The first thing is that most people feel that the credit card fraud is the number one form of, of identity theft. Mm -hmm. It only represents about 17%. Really? Actually, it's government uh, documents and government benefits is number one by far, by over 34% of all um, identity theft fraud. Right. So it's important to make sure that you have some type of coverage, which I'll um, show you want to expound on. Mm -hmm. um, there are several different things that people can do. One is uh, shredding. We documents. had a big shredding event at WBTV today. Crystal Miranda was there at a church, a local church, and That's inviting right. people to do that. Take That's advantage right. of that, right? Hey, take advantage of that. Shred your documents, making sure that you check your credit report as well okay. on a regular basis. You can check free at places like creditkarma.com. That's, that's another thing that you can do. Okay, and it's not just hackers we need to worry about when it comes to identity theft. You've talked about some of the different ways people can do it. Any other ways people need to look out for? Well, most people assume that, again, it's just credit card information. See, at Worth Financial, our average client age is actually 63. Mm -hmm. So many of our clients are in the 60s and 70s and 80s. So they feel, because if I don't have an email address or if I'm not on the Internet, internet on a regular basis, then it's not going to affect me. However, it will. The number one form is through government information. Right. So they can take that information. So we want to make sure that they have some type of coverage. I was a, a victim of identity theft. That's why I'm so honored and happy to be here today yes. and why I'm so passionate behind it. So we definitely need to make sure that they, they look at coverage, that they look at their credit report so that they can avoid what I had to go through, unfortunately. And, and never give out your information over the phone. Is that a lot of, the, you know, scams come out that way. That is exactly right. And then, unlike for me, it wasn't anybody some person in Russia, it was actually a family member who took my information. Mm. So it's important to make sure you guard your information from virtually, from really everybody. All right, let's put up the information. Uh, Lee and uh, Brigida have joined us. Let's put up that information. Uh, for more advice, you can contact Worth Financial Advisors. It's a Charlotte firm is located at 8720 Red Oak Boulevard, Suite 102. The number to call, 704-731-0121. The website is worthadvisors.com. Thank you again for being here. We appreciate it. Come on, thank you. And thank you folks at home for watching. We'll see you tomorrow night.